<laughs> you you yeah and this is for fun you know uh and then like for indoor like people who try to go grow orchids and things it's also sometimes it's not suitable for your house because you have if you have forced air heating it's too dry right so just you just so you know that's where the problems came from and then if you have uh you know pests you know which is the next problem oh watering issue and then and then pests right so you 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 have tons of uh spider mites and you know mealybugs <laughs> you you know what they are right so these are the problem right so uh i want to focus on the watering issue today because i'm introducing the self watering parts to you okay so let's see uh, what it looks like. Um, like I think Kim touched on it. They said they had there's a pipe, you know. Uh, there is a reservoir on the bottom. I'll send all these to you afterward. So the main reason is um, why do you need a self watering pot? <laughs> That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. Like, how how often do you water your plants at home? Like in indoor plants. Uh, once a week. Once a week. That's true. Yeah, just to make the soil a little bit wet. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you how do you know when to water? Or just just yeah. go by schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, touch it. <laughs> you touch it. 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 Touch your finger, yeah. okay. Nice little light. Uh, what? Nice little light. Ah, that's that's good. That's good. Weight is actually the best way to figure out whether you need to water. Like finger or what, schedule. What, what, what's your what is the, the weight. The weight. The weight. Yeah, you pick up the pot. Yeah. Okay. yeah so that's the best. Water. Water. Yeah. No water. No water. Like heavy. Like, do you do uh, a very heavy water? Mm -hmm. You have to know your plants. <laughs> Just like you pick up your dog, you know, oh, he's hungry. <laughs> I'll pick up your baby. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's a good, good, all good. You know, you just have to remember. That's the problem. Remember to test it or pick it up. So that's why I think people think about, think up, think about these things and then try to sell it to you with a lot of money. I have an example here. This is why I bought this thing. There's a there's a logo there, and there is a. So this is just the same design as this. Okay, if you can see, there is actually a a pole here, and you can see how much water. I don't know if you see it. Okay, we can test see how much water. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, this one is a little different. This one will flow up. There's a bobber that will flow mm -hmm. up. If the water, like this is actually a cork or something, so mm -hmm. it will go with the water. So if the water is low, this thing will go down and you see, oh, that's time to water. Mm -hmm. That's the size of the reservoir here. And they have the similar stuff. And then also they have a, hmm, they should have an overflow hole here. So same here. So when you water, you put your watering hose here on the tube and just keep flowing, uh, keep, uh, putting water in until you see water coming out from here. And then you have this much water inside. For those that doesn't have that stuff, how do you know when to stop? They, they, they know all the, over, uh, over, all the self watering parts should have an overflow drain. They should. That's by definition. If not, your water will be filling up right up to here, and that's wrong. Right. Okay. So you need to have this. When you buy one, you need to find it. Okay. Um, and how long does it last? Well, you have to. Well, you have to look at your plants, okay. like if they are sucking up a lot of water, or look at the weather is dry. So you don't know. Uh, if you are really a scientist, you can put a, a water alarm. 
Like if you really go low, you go beep beep beep, and you go to your phone, and then you know it's low. It's up to you. But you know, I think this is pretty safe. Uh, you can just go trial by you know error, 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 and then you know if the water is enough. Probably this one once a month. Wow. Once a month. Yeah, and it's in the shade. In the shade, yeah, it's in the shade. But the, these plants are going quite well. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing, when you do your watering, like say you put in water from here, you can actually uh, put in fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can put liquid fertilizer that's mixed up. Maybe I wouldn't go full strain. I'll go maybe half strain, because then the like maybe every other two months, not every time. But then the, the plant can suck up more nutrients through here mm -hmm. on a regular basis. Okay, up to you. Uh, what else? Uh, this is actually very nicely made. Mm -hmm. You know, all these tongue and groove. Mm -hmm. Can anyone do a price is right? Like, can you guess how much this one would cost? Oh, oh. No, this is from this guy. Like this guy is, is, a, is a carpenter in the low 2050. Okay, any more? <laughs> any more? <laughs> now, the design also, uh, if you want to take a look closer, is they actually have a plastic membrane. Yeah. Okay. So the, the water or the soil doesn't actually well, get soaked up yeah. to, to yeah, the wood. To the wood yeah. So that wood oh, okay. is lasting a long so time. Plastic yeah, they actually have plastic. Yeah. Say again? A tree. A tree. Yeah. A tree. A tray, yes, yes, yes. It, it's actually a membrane, but it's basically wrapped inside, so the water doesn't go inside to the wood. Lasts you a long time. This thing with the wheel, three fifty. Three fifty. Yeah. And and I know the guy who like who who actually set up the whole thing. I told him you should talk to me. I can make it for you. Well, it's reasonable. It's good. It would be. It's, it's done very well. So you can make you can make this for I can make, no no problem. I'm a carpenter, so no, I can do all this. No my problem. Friend also can make. <laughs> my friend, my friend also, I think he can make. Yeah, yeah. Only yeah, one big one, but yeah. if you do make the watering spot, yeah, yeah. So no, it, but, that's the. But the watering spot is actually just a tray. Yeah. And then the hole is at the level that you don't want the water to go above. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Only thing is just put that, that yeah. mm -hmm. measuring mm -hmm. measure. But then won't the roots go down into the water? Mm -hmm. Good point. Uh, there is a air gap of one inch separating the water and the soil. Mm. So that's the tree. The uh, there is actually a piece of plastic here, or it may be a bucket, uh, that separates yeah. the, the soil from the the water. water. So the the the, air, uh, the overflow here is below that piece of plastic. So when does the water get to the soil? Ah, uh, good soil. question. There is also uh, uh, it doesn't say water channel. I guess usually, like usually, I mean, they are not very clear here. There should be a piece of felt, like a. a a, a plastic, a cotton fabric, uh, or a, a wick, just like a candle, and then they would wick the soil up to to the soil. Now the reason you want to use a wick is because if the soil is actually holding sticking to the so uh, water, it will be too wet. Yeah. It will be having wet feet, right? So the wick will actually will will be the conduit. If the soil is too dry, it will suck it up. But if water is moist. It will not suck as much. Usually, they 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 are you just a, a piece of old T-shirt or maybe just one or two wig. That's all they need. It is it, not a you don't a lot of water going through. So the T-shirt is on the on the top, plastic side, and then the it will be have something some some end of it dripping down to the so, to the water, like all the way to the to the bottom. So then from a rope, yeah, a wig or T-shirt. Uh, Some, yes, yes, yeah. It's actually not osmosis; it's capillary action. Yeah, yeah, because uh, the the fiber went through the fiber. Okay, all right. Okay. Now, 
Anyone want to do one today? Okay, I'll make a simplified version for you. Okay, you know me, I don't buy new things. Maybe this is from before. So what, to simplify this, you actually, yeah, you don't need this. Okay, so this one, ah, what a mess. That is okay. what I like, simplify. So this is, I use this, this is take out container. Yeah, like, okay. Yeah, next time, like what, how I get this is I, I order uh, the, the Chinese style, Hong Kong style shrimp dumplings with noodles. <laughs> so this is where they call the soup, and this is where they, they have the shrimp dumpling. So you have to make sure it fits. It fits, it fits, <laughs> right? So what, what you do is, like, I, I didn't have the felt here, but if you can see from the, oh, this one. Oh yeah, from the bottom here, I have a larger hole. Uh, that would, the hole. Yeah, that would be where the, the felt we go, go the weight go through, and then it will go. The felt would go down to the bottom, okay. and then the weight will stay maybe a little bit on top, and then also have little holes on the side, yeah. like just in case. Can I take a picture yeah. Like <laughs> just, just, just. I'm do my drill. Uh, no. I. This is your best friend. The iron. iron. Yeah. Iron. Yeah, that's your best friend. Iron. Hot iron, that's your best friend. I use so much of it. And then it, it actually good for making uh going for orchid the orchids too for this this one. Okay, okay so what you do? So now I got the way report all my plants already. Say again? I got the way report all my indoor plants. Uh, yeah, that's good idea. So um what what else? Oh, the only thing is missing. The only thing missing is uh, you don't need the the piece of plastic here, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, because yeah. this is already the, the end. Yeah. So when you fill up the water, never fill fill up over the bottom of the pot. Yeah. Just just maximum, just maximum there. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. you could uh, use the iron, poke a hole here to make it overflow drain. Right, so the easiest way for to the, the reason I use this, you can see where the water is, right? Yeah. So when you fill up the like you like you take out the pot and then fill up the water here, and then you mark where the highest point should be, and then you put this is the soil, put it back on, and that's it. And with mm -hmm. the weight, you will do it. And then when you got home, oh, sorry, all the all the mess coming on, you you put it in a nice pot, and nobody will see it, okay? And you can post on your Instagram. You said this is a self-working pot. <laughs> okay. So when you pour the water in, yeah, you are not pouring the water onto on the, the soil. soil. No, you, you take, take it out. out to pour, pour it here. Water. Yeah, put it here because you don't have that sprout. Yeah. So <laughs> the, that's my design. Mm. Like I guess I designed it. No, I don't know. Maybe YouTube they have somebody yeah. doing it. But that's my design. You. That's how you do it, and you can see how it, everything is going right. The only thing is, this is very important, the air gap. Now, there's something, if you are you are a gardener, you heard about uh, air pruning. Have you heard about air pruning? No? Okay. Uh, you, you have? No, okay. So air pruning is basically when the soil, they start to grow, and if they come to an air pocket, they will stop growing. Yeah, the, the, the roots actually will go will try to grow through the hole and they will die. Because of that air. Because of dryness. Mm. Right? Because there's no soil, uh, no water, they just die. So you with this gap you are controlling the roots Ooh. movement. And also, uh, I just on a sidetrack, uh, you can actually buy these uh, I don't have a picture. Uh, they call it air prune pots. Mm -hmm. the, the whole pot is actually full of holes. And it's good for, ca uh, good, good for uh, uh, citrus plants. And the reason is if you air prune the, the plants, they, the roots actually get stronger. Mm -hmm. Once they get pruned, prune, they will grow to the side and then they will make more roots. This is the theory anyway. Uh, this is the, a citrus, uh, they like to be drier. Like, 
that's the, the character of a citrus plant. They don't want to be soaked in water all the time. Like if you want to grow a good citrus like lemon or orange, you actually should uh, let them have a dry period. Mm. So you water it for good, like for maybe a week, and then for the next week, you don't water. Let it dry, <coughs> mostly dry like When it's light, then you water. Uh, propagation seeds, or flowering, you mean? No, from seeds. From seeds? Yeah, it definitely you can grow from seed. Uh, citrus and watermelon. Uh, sometimes even pumpkins. They don't they don't grow to true strain. Mm -hmm. So especially citrus, they will just revert to a more undesirable shape and form. So it's best to buy the plant. Buy the plant uh, and take a cutting, you know, from a friend. I, I have a, a whole chapter on propagation. So you can steal people's plant. <laughs> Just take a cutting and <laughs> grow home and grow home. Okay, so uh, any questions so far? So we to uh, the, put the wick for plums? Yes, yes. I, on, on, on this, uh, through here. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, and then have it hang down to the bottom. Yeah, to the bottom. So they take up all the water. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you were saying that the weight, mm. but once you reduce this weight, yeah. you don't worry about the weight anymore. You need the weight because the water will not come up. Right? The weight. The weight. The weight. Uh, you can still weigh this. Yeah, but, but you don't. Yeah, you don't have to worry that much. Because the water. Is yeah, it's already coming. automatically coming up yeah, slowly. Sure there's water there, so. Yeah, so as you can see, there's yeah. water, right? The reason, like, you could use this. The, the reason I painted it unsuccessfully, because I will decorate this so that it doesn't look like a yoga top, right? <laughs> and you can still put this inside, right? Yeah. You can put this inside, use it as a working part. So looking for those. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes, yes. But we use don't buy new. Okay, you have tons of these parts at home. I'm sure. Just use you know. You mean the takeout order? <laughs> Number nine restaurant. <laughs> Number nine restaurant. You order the uh, shrimp dumpling with noodles, and then they will give you two. One big, one small. This is for the soup. <laughs> yeah, bubble tea is good too. Yeah. Oh, also need It will be automatic because it's air. There's no, there's a gap of air, like this. Yeah, there's a gap of air. The water doesn't come up to here. It comes up to only here. So the wick is not. Yeah. It's it's just any old t-shirt. Old t-shirt. Yeah, old t-shirt, any cotton. And how much of the wick is on top of the soil? Um, maybe four or five inch, you know, it's up to you. And then maybe three inch underneath. They, they have to touch the bottom of the water so they can utilize. You can twist it, just go around, doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, just a rope. But rope makes sure it's, uh, it's not synthetic. It has to be like natural. Like sometimes the, like you have to find a, a yarn or something that transmit water okay now uh, I almost I forgot one thing is um, instead of using this no it shouldn't be instead all right for all your house plan forget about instead okay for, for all your house plan uh, um, don't water from the top of the pots they know okay don't water from the top like your house plant you should have holes this one doesn't have hole but usually they have holes in the bottom and you just soak that one in a big tray of full of water and let it soak up all the water it needs it's called bottom watering okay uh, why do you want to do bottom watering yes can you explain more like maybe they don't know i guess when it's wet on top they can like yeah 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 and and because your surface is dry 
you can actually fool the fungus nets and say, oh, this is not a good medium for me to lay eggs. So some people would, would uh, they might see water from the top, but they put sand on top. The top inch of the pot is just sand, so it will be dry. And the fungus net would, would not like that medium, and then they just forget about your plants. So eggshell so-so, uh, eggshell actually it, it's actually dirty, right? It, it has the map, the egg membrane and stuff. We actually would encourage yeah. fungus nets. Yeah, and unless you bake it or, or, or what you call dry it up and destroy, like you, some people actually stir, like fry, fry it in high temperature to burn off the membrane, so there's no no organic material on top and it won't go moldy. But that's too much work. <laughs> No, it's, that doesn't work. It's still dry membrane, like the membrane of the egg, and it's protein, it's organic. Yeah, it will become moldy and extract. So when the pot is very big, mm -hmm. you know, how is it important that you saw maybe the tearing? Uh, that's, well, that's another way you can have a tray on the bottom. Like people buy this oh, ceramic tray on top of the tray, and you water the tray. tray. Yeah. Now, if you look at my my uh, my pots in the garden, we all have. Like, I'm I'm lazy. Okay, uh, I have. This is your your best friend as well. You know what it is? <laughs> Lack of balls. Okay. So if you have a a big pot, or or like what I'm doing, yeah, these are all synthetic material. It's clay ball. It's clay ball. So what you do, you don't you don't have chance to do this self working or or bottom from the bottom and you have only one pot. You I would pick a pot a container with no hole and then put this locker ball on the bottom and then put soil. Mm -hmm. And then I'll drill a hole on the side just above the locker ball. Okay? So you I water crazy, doesn't matter because it, it will come out and then the water will be retained here like maybe the bottom inch as a reservoir similar to this um, the plant roots will go in that's okay but it's a compromise right but you at least you have that much water here for all my pots in the garden I cannot come here every day to water them and if it's dried up the plant will die so my <laughs> pots all have some kind of reservoir on the bottom yeah, depends. De doesn't matter. Like depends on your preference. You can have it thicker if you want, I and you hold. Yeah. On top as a I know. I know. <laughs> I know. But this is like the actual use should be on the bottom. Okay. People like some people grow plants with no soil, and the whole part is lackable, okay. and. And that's what, the, that's what they call, well, it's not really, sort of like water culture. Like, you have no soil in the, in the pot, and with no soil, you almost don't have any disease. Okay? So no no pets. <laughs> because it's all just inorganic uh, material. How many holes do you grow in this pot? Uh, just one is fine if it's big enough. If you want to be safe, you put two. Yeah, just make sure it, it's in the bottom and retain some water. That's all. But when you're when you're moving this part, you have to be careful because once you keep it, the water will come out. Okay. So, any more questions? You want to do it? Okay. So, uh, do you want to do it with lacquer balls or with the pick out container? I have some lacquer balls here. You can pick home. You want to have some? Yeah. Okay. So. After the class, you can take some from me and we